Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel Salesforce FAQs and today in this video I am going to explain you how you can export the object list view in a CSV file. So as we know that in the list view of object we can see the records according to the filter criteria and according to the filter criteria of the list view we see the records on the list view tab and in this video I am going to explain you two approaches through which you can export the list view records or the list view information into a CSV file. So let's move ahead and see the process. So as of now, I have logged into my Salesforce developer org and right now I am in the opportunities tab. So in the opportunities tab, you can see the currently open list view is the recently viewed opportunities and from drop down, you can change the list view. So these are the standard and the custom list view that I have created. So for example, if I select the list view as my opportunities, so when I select the list view as my opportunity, it will show only those opportunity that are owned by me. So for example, I want to export all of this information like the columns and their values that are displayed over here in the list view. But the Salesforce don't have any direct option through which you can download the list view. For example, you go to the settings of the list here. You won't see any feature through which you can install or export the details of the list view. So the first way through which you can export all of this information into a CSV file is that you can copy it like this. So this is basically a manual copy paste. So for example, you copy the records from here. So I will press control C and then I will open a CSV file. And now in the new Excel file, I will paste all the copied records. So as you can see the records that we have copied from the list view of the opportunity object are pasted in the excel file so this is how you can copy and paste the information from the list view to an excel file and and from here you can also remove the columns that you don't require but here you can see the records are not aligned the way we want them so i will not suggest you to export the list view this way so the next approach through which we can export the list view of an object is using the salesforce classic edition so what i will do here is i will navigate to the profile and i will click on switch to salesforce classic and now in the classic edition i will navigate to the opportunities tab and you can see these are the list view and in the opportunity list view we can see the current list view is recent opportunities so i will change the list view to my opportunities and click on the go button and it will show the list view my opportunities so when we open the object list view in the classic edition you will see a printer icon at the upper right side of the window so this printable view is not available in the salesforce lightning edition so here i will click on the icon of printer to view the printable view of the list view so now you can see the records of the list view and from here i will copy all the records and again, I will open another Excel file to paste the records. And as you can see, the alignment is much better than what we have copied and pasted in the Salesforce Lightning Edition. So as you can see, the data is more organized than the what we have done in the previous Excel file. Let me show you that for the comparison. So this was the data that we have copied and pasted from the list view of Salesforce Lightning Edition. And this is how the data look like when you copy paste the list view from the Salesforce Classic Edition. So I will recommend you whenever you want to export the list view, you should always go with the Salesforce Classic Edition. And there you have to open the list view in the printable view. And from there you can copy and paste the information in your Excel file. So this is how you can export the list view in Salesforce using the manual copy and paste method and now we'll move ahead and see the process of exporting the list view using the salesforce workbench and the salesforce sql and for this you don't need to learn the salesforce workbench or salesforce sql here i will use the simple queries and salesforce workbench you can log in with your credential so let's move ahead and see how we can do it and the method that i'm going to explain you now is the most suitable one so so with this method you won't get any errors while exporting the list view so how to do that so first we need the workbench so to open the workbench you need to just open the url workbench.developerforce.com and here you have to log in with your salesforce credential 
So make sure that you have selected the environment as production and here it will show you the API version of the Salesforce that we are using as of now and here you have to click on the checkbox I agree with the terms of service and click login with Salesforce. So here in this window we have to select the option REST Explorer and then click on the select button. So here we need to enter the URL along with the ID or the API name of the list view for which you want to query and export the records. So for example, we want to query the list view of opportunity that are having close date for the current month. So for that first, I will select the list view as opportunity closing next month. So here I don't have that many records for that. So I will select closing this month. So using the workbench, you, we are going to export the details that you can see on the screen as of now. So in order to export this list view in a CSV file using the workbench, we need the ID of this list view. So when you open the list view, you, you have to go to the URL and from here you will get the API name of the list view. And in my case, it is API name and it might be the ID in your system. So I have copied the list view API name. So now again, I will go to the Salesforce workbench and here I will write as objects and then the name of the objects that is opportunity and then write list views and enter slash and then paste the list view API name or the list view ID over here. So here I will enter the API name of the list view and at last we will write describe and after entering this URL and also make sure that you have selected the get radio button and then click on the execute button. So as we click on the execute button, it will so as we click on the execute button, it will display the SQL query. So here what we have to do that copy this generated query. And after this, we will go to the queries tab and here click on SQL query. And here enter the SQL query that you have copied and select the object. So the object was opportunity. And after this, you have to select the option bulk CSV and then click on the query button and if the query that you are going to generate is having the parent object so make sure that you have already enabled the settings for the so make sure that you have enabled the settings for allowing sql parent relationship queries so here i have already activated the checkbox so here i will again go back to the sql query and after this select the checkbox bulk csv and click on the query button so after finishing the bulk api job it it will give the batch information of the job after the completion. So here you have to simply click on this folder icon. And with this, the download will start. As you click on the downloaded file, it will open in MS Excel. So as you can see, we have exported the information of list view opportunity closing this month. So here in this file, you can see the information is more detailed as, as what we got in the previous two approaches like what we have got through the manual copy and paste. So this is how you can export the information of object list view in Salesforce by following the various approaches that I've explained in this video, where first we have copy pasted the data from the Salesforce lightning list view to an Excel file. And for the better alignment of the data, we switch to the Salesforce classic edition. And there from the printable view, we copy pasted the data for the list view. And in the third and the most recommended approach that I will suggest you to do every time you want to export the list view is using the Salesforce workbench. So I hope that you understood what I have explained in the video and this was all about it. And I hope that you have liked this video then please do like, share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos. And thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.